So a surface constraint is a procedural version of Murdo's background constraint and it'll conform a surface of one object onto the surface of another object. But because it's procedural, it means you can now animate and rig those properties. What's interesting is you can also use it in conjunction with the regular background constraint. So in this scene I've got a piece of geometry, because it could be part of a shoe, and I've got an item here and I'm just going to use a regular curve tool with a regular background constraint and I'm just going to draw out a curve on the surface. You can still see how it's being placed on that surface but because it's linked up to a replicator I'm getting stitches propagating along that curve as I'm doing it. So with that curve in place I can now stick it to that part by using a surface constraint. So I'll hit that operator, the surface constraint, choose the surface which is the part, the mode I'm going to set to closest. So that will that will find the closest position to the point on the on the other surface and move uh, move the surface to it. And because the curve is already on the surface it's not going to move at all. So I'll hit OK. So now I can go to the part and I can make small tweaks to the shape of the part and the stitching will stay on the surface.